Welcome to Getting Fit 2018. I'm gonna change the title. I don't know what I'm gonna change it to right now. But this, yesterday we talked about getting started. And today is about, uh, yesterday we were talking about the food and to look at the shit that you take in your body and what to eat. And I'm standing on the treadmill. And today I wanna talk about this thing, the mental aspect of it. And I really didn't break down, and we'll get more into that into the future shows, break down on how important your food is. But just as, as important as your food is, is your mental state of mind, okay? You have to have this thing in tune before you walk into a gym or you're wasting your time. Your body works off of this thing. You're in a bad mood, your body's going to be in a bad mood. You're in a good mood, your body's going to be in a good mood. You, everybody thinks it's just about how much weight can I lift? How much, how much exercise do I need to do? How much, how much cardiovascular do I need to do? How much, how much, how much, how much? No, it's not that. It's about this. This thing is what you have to get right before you're going to do anything good in the gym. And I'm just a big believer that you, you've got to change. Just like you could change your eating habits, you've got to change your mental habits. This is not a job, okay? This is, this is not a job. This is for you to be better. I'm moving around today, so don't worry about it. This is for you to be better in life. And we as a society want to, I just want to lose weight to look good. I just, I'm just losing weight so other people will find me attractive. I'm just, I'm just getting bigger so people will tell me how big I am. I'm, just, I'm not doing it for anything else but for just the, for the compliments. You're wasting your time. You are literally wasting your time. Because you will give up. You will quit. Because people will stop going, oh, you're so, you look so good. You lost so much weight. You're so, and they'll eventually stop doing it. And you'll stop working out. This, like food, is a key element in this environment. You have to be willing to put this in the right mode. Just like you're going to start changing your eating habits, once you change that, you're going to change your physical habits. I'm going to start going to the gym. I'm going to start doing this. And I'm going to do it for me. And with this thing behind you or leading you, let's go. Let's go. You don't need nobody. Do it yourself. Let's go. Let's go. You'll get there. Somebody saw me today and goes, hey, man, when are you going to start telling us how, you know, how to lift and what to do? I went, dude, you don't even go to the gym. You don't even care. You just want to lose 40 pounds for summer. You're going to gain it back next year anyway. Learn the right way. I wasn't taught the right way. I started when I was 17 years old. I didn't know what to do, how to do it, or what to do. And the fitness industry has changed since I started lifting. You got CrossFit. You got Spartan Racers. You got... The, the, the fitness world has just changed from bodybuilders to aesthetics to different ways to lift. And I mean, there wasn't all this when I was back, back when I was young. So you learn, I still learn every day. My workouts change all the time, but this leads the way. You need to go do this. You're 50, you want to be good at 60, then you need to get in there and go to work. Nobody's going to compliment you today and tell you how great you did in here by yourself. Nobody will. But you can. You can do it. And I do it. Russell, damn good day. Damn good day, son. Damn good workout. Russell, them legs was tough today. You didn't get those full squats in. You had to drop some weight on there. I understand. Push through. Get it done. You, if you're doing it for a cheering section, you're already going to lose. If you're doing it with this leading you, Episode three tomorrow.